Okay, here we are talk about the Best Buy incident again. Well, I didn't notice it until I got home. When I looked at it at the store, it didn't look right. And then I, well, it looked right. And then when I went to bring it home, I booted the computer up. And as soon as I turned it on, I pushed the button. There's all this severe, well, there's more brightness on the bottom left and top left than there is on the top right and the top, on the bottom right. So, that's, it's an inferior screen too because when I look at it, even in the sec where it is the best, it's in the middle. It's it's still an inferior screen. It doesn't look as good as the other one. The other one looked kind of glossy and it looked it looked really nice, but this one looks like shit. And um, I guess what they replaced my screen with was an inferior screen that wasn't as good. Um, I don't know wh why they think that's okay, but when you screw over a customer, that's I think I'm really done with computers after this one. I told you that before. I can't deal with it anymore. I really can't. Every time something goes wrong, you got to wait all these ridiculous amount of time and all of that. You're going to say this is where a console comes into play if you buy a PlayStation. Same thing with a PlayStation or an Xbox. They all break and then you have to suffer the consequences. I have old, old LaserDisc players that work better than this thing. And it's not the computer's fault. It's Geek Squad's if they just fixed it right. Now I know that if they send this computer back to their service center, um, we all know that they're not going to repair it the right way. They're just going to replace it with the same screen I had before. And I don't. You see, the problem is you can't diagnose these computers in the store. You can't just sit there. They let them. Look, they let you look at it for a few seconds. It, you need to actually get into Windows. You need to play a few games on it to see what the screen looks like. Then you know if the screen's messed up. And then you can go according to that. You can't go by looking at something for a second. And every time you try to make all these foolish appointments, um, there's only two of them tomorrow night, like 8 o'clock. I don't want to go 8 o'clock at night to some place. I'm just going to leave it. You know, I didn't even... Hey, that's right. Why should I worry about it? I hate, to, I hate to say this. This is the most rotten thing to say. But if I didn't pay for it, and nobody paid for it in this house, who gives a shit? Just let it rot in hell. I think that's what I'm going to let it do. I'm going to reinstall Windows on it, revamp it a little, and maybe I could try to sell it on eBay. I'll have to tell everyone what the problems are, though. You can't lie on eBay because you'll get in serious trouble. All right. Bye-bye.